Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. Um, today I am going to show you five projects which are from the April Craft Kit. This is card number one. Gorgeous, um, gorgeous, gorgeous card. It's using the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and dies. And it's got some of the um, DSP, Butterfly Bijou DSP, um, to make the background. So if you've got your craft kit, you will already have everything that you need in order to make this card. So let's get started. So you want to use the um, pre-cut card that has the fold in the middle at the top rather than on the side. We are going to start by cutting our DSP. Um, and we're going to cut this to four by four inches. So we're going to stick the DSP onto our card base so it will leave just a little bit of a white border on there. So I'm going to use my Tombow. You can choose to use any side of the DSP as well. Um, in your kit you will have a piece of each. Um, I've got a bit of a splodge going on there so I'm just going to even that out. Okay. Oh. okay, so we'll pop that on there, just like that. So next you will have a strip of Misty Moonlight cardstock in your kit as well. And this is cut to four inches by three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to pop this over the end, just like that. So again, using the Tombow. Okay. It's a new glue, so it's all coming out a bit thick. So again, I'm just gonna just gonna run over it with a paintbrush. It just helps it not splodge out so much when you stick it on. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pop that just over the end like that. So next I am going to cut out, stamp and cut out a butterfly. So for this I'm going to use my Stamparatus because the stamp for the butterflies is one giant stamp. Um, which is wonderful but you might not, you might not want to use all of them at a time. So you can cut them up if you prefer. However, some of the dies do cut out exactly what's there so it's worth leaving it as one um, but I just want to use this butterfly here today um, so I'm just going to make sure that that will catch my bit of paper and then I'm going to grab the memento ink and I'm just going to pop it over that one to me this butterfly looks a little bit like a cabbage white, I think they're called. Um, and I quite like those. <laughs> oh, my magnet's in the way. Try not to get the magnet caught up if we can. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So I have got my butterfly pop that out the way so I'm just going to colour this in now um, I'm going to use the light so saffron um, because it's just a very subtle yellow colour and I think it goes perfectly on this card. There we go. Mm. 
and I'm also going to use the light basic black just to give the the middle some give him some color on his body okay so now I've got my butterfly colored in nice and quick I'm going to bring in my die cutter Just line this one up okay something like that what you can do to save time for future future butterfly making is uh, stamp a whole sheet at one time um, and colour them all in and then when you've cut them out you will have lots of butterflies rather than just the one um, okay isn't that cute so if you do have any of the DSP um, the butterfly bijou DSP you can get these large butterflies so if you don't want to stamp it and cut it out the die does match up with the butterflies on the DSP as well so you know just so you know you've got that option as well but I've got my butterfly here I think it looks lovely so I'm just gonna bend the wings slightly just so that it has a, a bit of 3d-ness to it and I'm just gonna stick it on to the blue band I'm only adding glue onto the the body. There we go. Stick him on there. And then what I'm going to do is just add some rhinestones just to give it a bit more bling. Um, There we go so it's got a little bit of a, a bling to it um, and the final touch if you have it or if you choose to um, I'm going to add some Wink of Stella I love Wink of Stella and I'm just going to colour in all of the purple butterflies so it's very subtle but it does mean that when it's caught in the light it's just going to have that really gorgeous little glimmer to it And if you choose, you can colour in all of the, the green butterflies instead. Okay, and I also just want to add a little bit onto the butterfly here. There we go. So I don't know if you can see the shimmeriness. I hope you can. I'll try and give it a wobble for you. Um, so on this card, I used a greeting saying for you. I'm going to leave this one blank for the time being um, because I think it's such a good card for any occasion that um, I'm going to save it until I have an occasion to use it for. Um, but yeah, you can add any greeting at all. The butterfly stamps don't come with any greetings, so you can use absolutely anything that you fancy. Um, but yeah, so that's card number one from your April craft kit. Um, I hope you like it. And I hope you will try and recreate it. I'd love to see your pictures. So thank you for watching. I will see you shortly for card number two. Bye bye.